Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Texas Tech TV pregame show. Travis Cram alongside Courtney Davis here to preview Texas and Texas Tech this weekend. Lone Star Pride game, but first recapping TCU and Courtney. Not a lot to talk about in this one. Obviously a rough outing for the Red Raiders. A great start to the game, seeing some offense going, but too much of TCU in the end ended up giving them the big win. It, it did, and, and you're right. You got off to the hot start you wanted. The offense really ran down the field, literally. You weren't sure if you were going to have the running game because of how big TCU was up front. However, DeAndre Washington, Kenny Williams took command, got Kenny's first touchdown of the year. But as Coach Kingsbury has harped all week, these guys have to move past it. You can't let the same game beats you again, and I think that will be huge. And you'll see early on in the Texas game where their mindset is, whether they've left TCU in Fort Worth and they're on to Texas here in Lubbock, or if that's still lingering. And hopefully, it's been a week of practice. Our focus is on the Longhorns. And it's always a big game. It's Lone Star Pride. They label it that with the two teams facing off against each other. There's always been a neat uniform that comes out for this one. We expect to hopefully see one on Saturday, He's already maybe. Teased it, so oh, there you, you go. Yeah. So Coach Kingsbury's already teased it. <laughs> hopefully get to see that one. But because it's such a big rivalry, you hope that this team gets a little bit more pumped up forgets completely about last week, and then, like you said, can just move on and hopefully put some points on the board. I talked to Coach Kingsbury earlier this week, and he said his team is excited, and the, the atmosphere around the football facility is just ready to get back on the field, maybe to, to earn some of that pride back, and this is a great week to do it with Lone Star Pride game as well as a huge rival. You don't ever want to lose to Texas. These guys, everyone in that locker room has yet to beat Texas, so why not Saturday? Let let it be the first time since 2008. It's always fun for our fans and our players. Both teams know each other very well and uh, always brings out the best on each side. So we're expecting a competitive, fun atmosphere and we're excited about the game. Texas definitely has an athletic defense. What do you see on that side of the ball that maybe you'll game plan towards? Yeah, they are. They fly around really good up front in a secondary that's pretty experienced and has played a lot of football. So we have to be good up front um, on our line and, and find ways to protect our, the football. You've come out and said Davis is day to day depending on how he looks at practice. If Patrick Mahomes has to go, what is it his strength wise that you would play to? Really, uh, you know, as a young guy, he, he's got to be able to move around and make some plays. Won't be as comfortable in the pocket as, as you may like, but he, he has the ability to ex extend plays and keep his eyes down the field. So we'll play to those strengths. What is your message to the team throughout the week going forward and going into Texas on Saturday? Yeah, really just don't, don't let the last game beat you twice. You know, look forward and, and still have a lot of football left and, and let's show what we can be. Yeah, not letting the same game beat you twice. That's a great point, especially with a team that you don't know what this offense is going to do. Texas has scored 26 points or less in five of their eight games so far this season, but they've been able to kind of come back against teams and try and make it a bigger game in the end, and that's something Tech has to do is finish, something that bit them against West Virginia, but they were able to do against Kansas. And you, Texas has. They should have beat UCLA. They lost by a field goal 20-17. to 17. They avenged that when they won with a late surge against Iowa State, 48-45 in Austin. And then they made a push against Oklahoma, a huge game in the Red River rivalry. Texas Tech just has to finish. And you don't know. Tech, Davis Webb is a day-to-day -day decision. We'll see once he ro who rolls out there on Saturday, whether it's him or whether it's the freshman Patrick Mahomes. But that can play to Tech's favor. Texas doesn't know who's going to roll out their game plan. They're they're two different quarterbacks. If Texas Tech can get off to the hot start, this crowd will be the 12th man factor. And I think that could be huge, Going, especially being at home. A win against the Longhorns could do huge dividends for this team. And I think if you just get the ball rolling and then you just put them away in the end, let your defense go to work and then put them away, finish. Finish games, that's something that's been kind of talked about all season long you've got to find a way in the end to just cap it off and you got to find a way for your defense to get off the field mm -hmm. at the same time limit your mistakes and also even if the offense gets the ball rolling it's going to be up to the defense to stop especially as Tyrone Swoops comes in the game and you have that third element of a scrambling quarterback absolutely I think the game is going to be huge on the front line the, Texas is big and they're athletic on their defensive line. The offensive line will be key as well, but the defensive line has got to get to swoops. Make him scramble, make him uncomfortable. Yes, he can run. Yes, we know he's got legs, but if you can make him uncomfortable, he's going to make mistakes. We've seen that all season long. So get to that backfield, be aggressive, be physical on both sides because the O-line has only given up seven sacks all year long. They're going to have to do another fantastic job to protect whether it's Davis or Patrick against an athletic Texas front. 
Well, it is Lone Star Pride. Be sure to be there. 6.30 p.m. at the Jones. The game will be on FS1. And then you can also catch Friday night before the game, the Texas Tech Sports Network keys to the game on texastech.tv. Then come back afterward for a full recap, all the player interviews with Courtney, and everything else on Texas Tech TV with the highlights after the game. For Courtney Davis, I'm Travis Cram. We'll see you next week here on the pregame show.